Hey everyone, Dusty here, and today I want to talk about electrolytes, what they are, how they affect you, and some electrolyte products that you can use in training and racing. Alright, so first up, what are electrolytes? Well, electrolytes are essentially minerals that help conduct nerve impulses and will prevent you from cramping. And these minerals include sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And if you think about electrolytes like a vehicle, electrolytes would be the oil in the vehicle. They just are going to help keep the parts moving the way they should. They're not going to give you energy. They're not going to be like the fuel or the gasoline in your car. That is something totally separate and, and is something not to be mistaken with electrolytes. Electrolytes are like the oil in the car and whatever your source of calories or fuel is during training and racing is like the gasoline in the car. So I know a lot of people just think electrolytes, oh, it's salt. I just need to take salt pills to prevent cramping. And yes, sodium is a big part of electrolytes, but those other minerals play important parts as well and should not be overlooked. So when you're looking at an electrolyte product, you want to make sure it's a full spectrum electrolyte and includes all of the electrolyte minerals and not just something like a salt tablet or a salt pill. So what are some things that will affect the amount of electrolytes that you need? Well, one of them is weight. Another one is temperature. The hotter it is out, the more electrolytes you'll need. Your exertion level, the harder you push, the more you'll need. Also, if you're a heavier sweater, you probably need a little bit more electrolytes. And also, if you have a high sodium diet, so if you eat a lot of processed food or eat out a lot, then those meals will tend to have a lot more sodium in them and you'll probably need to consume more electrolytes in training and on race day. Now unlike consuming too much water or too much calories in training or racing, those will have very negative side effects and will slow you down significantly or stop you. It's very rare to overdose on electrolytes and even when you do, it's not going to have a severe negative consequence. Now if you do start to consume too much electrolytes, you're not going to have you know, some really crazy side effect that's going to put you in the hospital or anything like that. Your extremities might start to swell, so your hands and feet, and your urine will start to sting. Now this isn't a huge deal if you're active when you're consuming these electrolytes, which you will be. Your body's just going to metabolize it and you're just going to pee it out. It's not like you're going to wind up in the back of an ambulance. Now, when do I take electrolytes? Well, for myself, it's almost 99.9% .9 of the time in racing only. Usually only events three to four hours and greater in length, and usually only when it starts to get quite hot out. But if I did happen to go out for, say, a five to six hour training ride, then yeah, I would probably pack some electrolytes just in case, but a five to six hour training ride isn't going to be a race effort either for me. I would probably more than likely be able, be able to get by with no electrolytes or, or a very small dose. Now I have done some Ironman events that have been stupid hot. I did a race in Chattanooga in September of 2016 and the entire race was probably close to probably f about 40 degrees Celsius I think. It was probably one of the hottest days that I've ever lived in and that just happened to be the day that the race was on and I did an Ironman. Now during that race there I didn't put a limit on the amount of electrolyte tablets that I was taking. I would just shovel them in by the handful every 30 to 45 minutes. I was probably taking upwards of eight an hour which isn't unheard of in those extreme temperatures. We compare that to some of the other Ironmans I've done. I usually only take one to three an hour and that's always been enough to just keep the cramps at bay and keep everything running smoothly. So for training, I definitely find supplementing with electrolytes is never that big of a deal. Usually the meal or whatever I ate before my training is more than enough to get me through electrolyte-wise. And I think that's true with a lot of other athletes. Usually it's those longer endurance events, so if triathlon, say half Ironman and up, where supplementing with electrolytes is much much more important than training. Alright so let me get into some of the products that I like to use for electrolytes and there's two products I'm going to show you today and they're both from the company Hammer Nutrition. 
So first up is my go-to electrolyte source and the one that I recommend to everybody and that is Hammer Enduralites. And Hammer Enduralites are electrolyte capsules that are full spectrum. So they're not just salt pills. They have all of the minerals that you need to support a complete electrolyte. So sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium. And they're pretty small capsules. And like I said before, less is best. So that's even what Hammer recommends is taking one, starting out taking one to two of these capsules per hour during your race. But it's not unheard of in extreme situations like when I raced in Chattanooga to take, I've taken up to eight in an hour for many hours, pretty much the entire race. Yeah, so it even says on the bottle, take two capsules per hour during pro prolonged exercise. Hot weather conditions may warrant higher dosages. So exactly what I just said. And Hammer also makes a product called Extreme Enduralites. And the only difference between the regular Enduralites and the Extreme ones are the Extreme Enduralites have three times the potency. So one of those capsules is worth three of these ones. So if you were something like an ultra runner and you were going to be out running for multiple hours, even days, and you just want it to pack less, then the Extreme Enduralites might be a good option for you. Now the one thing about carrying these capsules on race day is you want to make sure that you have a semi-waterproof container because any sweat or moisture that gets onto these capsules, it's going to start breaking them down. So I've used like a little film canister type container. I've also used just a plastic Ziploc bag. That seemed to work great. I just filled it right up with Enduralite capsules and that seemed to work really, really good for me. Now the other electrolyte product that I'm going to show you from Hammer Nutrition isn't a capsule. It's an effervescent tab and it's called Hammer Fizz Enduralites. And I'm not sure you can see, but there's a line down the middle of the tab and essentially what you do is you break that in half and you put one of the halves in a bottle of water and that's supposed to be equivalent to one of the Enduralite tabs. And I don't use these during racing because for one very important reason to me is to get a serving of Electrolyte you would have to drink an entire bottle of water. whereas with the capsules you just take them and chase with water. Taking the capsules is just much much easier. Now there are people who can't swallow capsules so fizz is just another option for them. So what I do with fizz is I really just use it to flavor my water every so often. So if I have, if I'm doing a few training sessions throughout the day I'll just make sure that I put half of a fizz tab in every fourth or fifth water bottle that I'm consuming that day. And that way I just know I'm maintaining my electrolyte levels and not letting them get too low. But as far as race day goes, I always stick with the Enduralite capsules and they work fantastic. Now if you're wondering why can't I just get a drink that also has my calories in it and my electrolytes, there's one really good reason for that and that is that that drink would taste disgusting. So you would notice if you put a bunch of Hammer Enduralites in your mouth and chewed them up it would taste pretty gross well if you had that in a dro if you had that in a drink with your calories and fuel source it would taste disgusting as well so just remember your the source of your electrolyte needs needs to be totally separate from your calorie and fuel needs especially the longer and the hotter the event the more important this is because you'll need more electrolytes and that's it i don't really think I left anything out, but if I didn't go over anything you're wondering about electrolytes, then just comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you need to get some electrolytes for this up upcoming race season and live in Canada, I'll put one I'll put a discount code down below for for the Hammer website and you can order some fizz tablets or or some Endurolite tabs to help you out. I think on the Canadian Hammer website you get free shipping for anything over $100. So if you add a bunch of other goodies on there, you can get some free shipping. So like always, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe for more everything running, triathlon, and nutrition related.